Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and this channel is all about beauty, fashion, and life and particularly for the woman over 40. But again, if you're under 40, there are always gems in this channel that you can get as well. In today's video, I decided I put together some really cute, funky, dressy, laid back winter outfit ideas. Just like we're not really going anywhere. No one is really going anywhere. We may go out to eat a little bit or here and there, a little bit of shopping, but we're not hanging out. But you know, I just wanted to put together some outfits so that when I start going out, I'll have some ideas as to what I can wear and how, depending on how I'm feeling. So if that's something you're interested in and stay tuned, let's get started. This is outfit number one. I paired this gray, what do you call this? Muscle tee with these padded shoulders with this rustic looking jeans from Levi's. I wanted the gray to kind of be a little faded and just not so light. I just wanted to mix the pieces together so they flow very evenly. I paired them with these new Steve Madden loafers. I'll have to do a whole video on my shoes, but like these are amazing. I like the silver detail in the loafers. And normally I would have a chunky necklace on because this shirt is really chunky, but it was messing with my mic. So what I did, took it and wrapped it around my arm. So the chunky jewelry, along with these substantial chunky earrings, they're chunky, but they're not heavy, flows very well with this chunky t-shirt. Now I would pair this look with my blue and white and kind of cream Christian Dior book tote and my blue teddy coat. Now normally most people would probably pair this with a black coat, but I didn't want it to be matchy matchy, but I wanted to pull out some blue so that it matched the blue in the book tote and it has blue and brown and cream. So it just goes well with this outfit, these shoes. And let me just tell you about the teddy coat. I don't know if you have one, I have two. This feels like a blanket. It's so warm and plush. Oh my God, this feels so good. But this is what I wear. This is my casual, but cute, trendy kind of not necessarily chic, but trendy outfit, but it's very, very comfortable. See, this, this even looked like a house coat in the back where I got this tie. This is very, very comfortable and very warm. So this is outfit number two. I just took a plain black cardigan that I purchased, I don't think from Nordstrom on sale. And I added this, my matte black belt so that it wouldn't break up the line of the cardigan. So I look tall, cause you know, I'm petite, I'm five, three and a half, right there at the line. I added these beautiful, beautiful Sam Edelman boots that I purchased from Nordstrom on sale. They're suede, it's a chartreuse green, yellow kind of uh, look. So that suede or velour, I'm not, not suede, the velour of the boot added with the chunkiness of the sweater and the leather belt and the leather gloves just gives it so much more dimension, makes it look more interesting. Instead of black regular tights, I, I added these polka dot tights. Aren't they cute? That's just unexpected and just cute. Just, psh, that's just me. Um, and I paired it with my gold, Fendi purse that I call her Falake, but it's a Fendi purse. I name all of my purses and her name is Falake cause she's black and brown and it's just very fitting for her. Um, has this scarf here so that just brings out the yellow in the boot, just makes the look more cohesive. And I added these gold earrings, they're not real gold, but I purchased these from Zara a year or so ago. So this is my outfit number two. This is what I would wear if I was going out for lunch with my girlfriends or going out to dinner with my, from, with my husband. It's very warm and cozy. If I wanted to add an extra layer of coat with this, I would add a black long coat, uh, like an ankle length coat or a coat at least the length of the cardigan so it just wouldn't look so awkward. I wouldn't pair it with a shorter coat, unless of course it was a black fur or a mink, but who has that, not me. Anyway, but this is look number two. This is outfit number three. Everything is soft and comfy and cozy. Like this is really, really nice. I imagine this is what loungewear feels like. I don't have loungewear yet. I will be getting some in soon, doing another video, doing a video on loungewear. But anyway, I digress. This is very comfy and cozy and just really, really nice. These are joggers from Zara. This is a sweater from Zara. I don't think these pieces are any longer available. I purchased them a while ago. I paired them with these slide on sleeve matte loafers with the silver detail. With I paired that with silver uh, jewelry. I 
just want a really dainty necklace to go with that because this feels so cozy and comfy. I also added a pair of silver hoops. These again are not as chunky as the other silver hoops. They're a little more dainty than the others because all of this is just a very cozy, cozy feel. Now if I were going outside, I'd pair this with my purse that I purchased from Amazon. This is it here. It mimics the shrimp's purse. Um, I think I paid about $70 for this. That shrimp's purse is three, $400. And if I was gonna wear a coat, I would want a pop of color. So instead of wearing an all black coat so that the black, the uh, outfit would just look all black, I would add my boiled wool coat from J. Crew. Let me try it. Oh, how is this for a pop of color? Come through pink. Isn't this cute? It's cozy and bright and me just just now this is what you call a pop of color just beautiful this is the coat that I would wear with this outfit this is outfit number four now this is actually a summer dress that I purchased from New York and company from the Gabrielle Union line but listen you don't have to just wear your summer dresses in the summer you can pull your summer dresses out put you some leggings some long sleeves up under them so that you can wear them in the winter time as well just make sure you put layers to keep yourself warm and then you put your coat on done done deal now I paired this dress with my Paris Texas pink boots you've probably seen these on my Instagram page if you have if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Angela Michelle on Instagram. Same as my YouTube channel. And I paired it also with my MGM purse that I picked up on sale last year. I thought it was really, really cute. And I love the silver detail here. So I have a silver dainty necklace and the silver hoop earrings. Just got I love a hoop earring. And it just works really, really well together. It just flows really well. Normally, if I had a checkered coat, I would wear a black and white checkered coat would look really, really good with this outfit. It will pull out the black and the white in the dress and just the mixture of patterns would be amazing. Just remember when you're mixing patterns, don't look at the pattern, look at the colors in the two pieces. A black and white checkered coat would look great with this dress because there's a lot of black and white in the dress. That would be amazing. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a black and white checkered dress, but there's that. But here's the outfit. Boots. Oops. That's the microphone. I'm not humpback. <laughs> now this is my fifth and final outfit and literally my outfit of the day. So these are some of my favorite jeans outside of my Levi jeans. These are from Express. I love these. These are Daniela Chevelle boots. You've seen these before in my uh, shoe haul or my boot video. If not, we'll put a link above here or here, whichever above. Um, I paired it with my Ferragamo belt with the gold tone hardware because I have on this chunky gold necklace that I purchased from H&M or Zara, I don't remember which one. With these gold earrings I purchased from H&M and I have my Louis Vuitton purse her name is Wakanda. And my favorite t-shirts, I get these t-shirts from Gap. I have just a couple of crew neck, but most of them are V-neck. I buy them in white and black and V-neck and round neck every single year. And I only buy them every year because I just want some, uh, some fresh ones, but I have some that I've had like three or four years, but I buy them every year when they're on sale. So I don't know if they're on sale right now, but I'll put a link in the description box below because they are my absolute favorite t-shirt. The quality is amazing. The stretch is amazing. They're warm. I layer them in the wintertime under my uniforms at work or I just wear them every day as I'm out on and about, but they're just perfect t-shirts for any occasion. But this is my final outfit. Very, very comfortable. I probably will wear either my North Face jacket or uh, my husband's black <laughs> North Face vest with this. Wait. Shh, 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 shh. Your stuff is my stuff. We're married. Okay. This, this is the look. Very, very comfortable. Like this pink just pops all this black, but love it. This is me. This is a typical Saturday afternoon, Sunday after church. I need to go somewhere and get some outfit for me. And what I forgot to mention is every time I step out the door, I have on perfume. The perfume that I'm gonna wear today is from Maison Francis Kirk Dijon and it is Oud Satin Mood. This is a smooth, this is a smooth, rich, complex, layered fragrance. She is not uh, 
cheap though. She, she's an investment, she's expensive. But this will last you all day. I just put two squirts on all my clothes. And when I take this shirt off at the end of the day and throw in the dirty clothes, tomorrow my, all the dirty clothes gonna smell like this shirt. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, unique, you will not smell like everyone. It has oud in it. I don't know if you're familiar with oud. Some people don't like oud, but it's a scent that lasts a long time, but it's one of my favorite go-to winter scents. It's my scent of the day. Well, that's it, family. I hope you found something inspiring, something you can put together from your closet or from your wardrobe yourselves. Now, before I end this, let me just say, if you haven't subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you don't feel like you want to and you want to take a couple more videos, look at a couple more videos and see if you want to do that, if that's okay too. I really, really appreciate everyone just taking their time to spend a little bit of time with me. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.